Hey everybody, it's Becky, Friday afternoon, might be Friday evening where you are, and I haven't been on here to do a live for quite some time, just been uh, busy with some other things this week and trying to keep everybody informed, but was very happy to announce that many, many of our highlights uh, came back yesterday. Our stay spray, which is amazing, came back yesterday as well. We are still missing the Perfector sponge. We're expecting that back probably next week. And um, um, almost, I think almost all of the lip collection is back now. And I, I put that lip collection on there because in that one, you get those eight, they're eight pre-chosen. The price is $109 Canadian. Normal price would be 160. It's a $51 saving. It's like getting two and a half of those tins for free. So really, really fabulous deal on that one if you're looking for some more lip colors. So what I wanted to do um, on here today was come on. I have been fooling around with a bit of um, my eyeshadows. And as you can see, I have hooded eyes. We're actually not as bad as usual today. Um, but what that means when you have hooded eyes, if you put the, you know how they normally would tell you to put your shadow, the darkest shadow in the crease. Well, with somebody like me with hooded eyes, I'd put that on and I'm like, all right, I don't see that anywhere. <laughs> so it's not really an effective way to apply your shadow when you have the hooded eyes. The other thing that I cannot do is that beautiful cat's eye um, eyeliner. As a matter of fact, I've learned that I should have very little eyeliner. Now I do have my eyeliner tattooed on and it's real thin and that's probably about as much as I need because you don't want to take away any more of that visible um, eye eyelid than you have that showing. So not too much eye um, eyeliner on a hooded eye as well. And, and hooded eyes come in all kinds of varying um, uh, ex ex extremes. Some people are so hooded that they actually have to get surgery on them. I've not gotten to that yet, but I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't turn it down <laughs> to get me a bit more. Now I have put my makeup on. I put my foundation, I put my contour, I have put my um, lip and cheek and I have done some priming. Um, so what I'm gonna show you today is just on one eye, I'm gonna do a little demo that I learned just by watching some other videos. And I'm gonna do my um, uh, eyebrow and some mascara. And then I want you to be able to see the difference between the two eyes. Now I'm gonna work out of this little palette. I really like to put together a palette um, with this little four pack. And I think that's called the mini quad. And I wanted to show you some different, show you this little palette right here. So these are some ideas that you can put together. Uh, this one has glass slipper, cocoa, mihija, um, or is that called mihaya? Mama and unicorn. So that's one idea. There was another beautiful one here as well. Love this one, fall shadow shade starburst. Um, London and Midnight, aren't those beautiful colors? So pick your favorite colors. If you order, if you order four shadows, you can have your choice of this little one, or you can get the the regular quad, which, oh, where is mine here? Um, the reason that you might want to get the quad, I wanted to get this one just so I had it to see, but the quad would be just a single, one of these that'll hold four regular tins, but even with four shadows, which are half size, you still can order that quad and it gives you some room left to grow into as well. Sorry, I can't find mine right now. So let's go on, Get, go on with it. So like I said, I've done everything else. Um, you may be a person that likes to do your eyes first. I know a lot of people do that and then they can get rid of any, um, any overage that's uh, fallen, but you still can with this technique as well. So I'm going to use the eyeshadow everything brush. And again, I am not an expert at this. I'm learning along with you guys, but I have been watching this really fun girl and I'm getting some good ideas. So with this technique, we're going to be using the fluffy end of the eyeshadow everything that has become my best friend. This is a 
it's good for all eyes, but especially for us with the hooded eyes, because the secret's going to be not just going into the crease, but actually coming above the crease so that when you, when you are just with your eyes open and relaxed, you can still see that color that you're putting in the crease. So I am going to use, I'm going to use um, a color called basic, which is this brown right here. So what you want to do with this brush is to coat it all the way around so that when you're applying it, just get rid of any of that little bit. When you're applying it, um, you're going to have a nice amount on there. Now this paper we're going to use as a guide because what you don't want to do with a hooded eye and like mine it comes down at the corners and it's hooded there. We don't want to pull that dark color way over here so it's like your eyes pulled down even further. We want to keep it up further. So this was a little trick is to just put a template onto your eye like that so you know where to stop and we're going to just put that right into that crease and we're going to start working that color in. And again with this fluffy brush when you're doing these circles and the windshield back and forth, it's going to deposit some of that color up above the crease line as well. A bit more. So that you're going to be able to see it. And you don't want to come over too far over here to the inside and do something else over there. Okay. Now, if you can be really careful, you don't need this template, but I'm just giving you the idea of where you want to stop. Going to right here just before your eye and then up to the end of your brow. So if you're going to be drawing in your brows, maybe get that started beforehand. Now I can take that away and just finish that up. Make sure that we're getting that all. And again, so you can see where I've stopped there. I'm not coming down. And already, you can probably see that this eye is looking like it's lifted. And it's just, makeup really is just an illusion to bring out the best features for you. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm just going to flip that over and do a tiny bit of a little bit darker, just right at the end of that. And that color is, <laughs> what was that? I just put that in there. Oh, Finn, I really like that one. This one is, the first one that I used was a matte, and this one is got a little bit of a glitter in it. So you're just making that little, and there now if you start to see where you're getting a little bit of fallout just come back with a sponge okay looking pretty good and now i'm going to flip that back over and i'm going to use a little bit of um this one a lighter one called valencia and i'm going to just put that into the corner there just to brighten again we're creating the illusion that my eye is coming up can you see how that's starting to happen now and you want to blend 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 That's just those three colors blended together. And I think that's looking pretty good. Um, now, other thing with hooded eyes is you don't want a dark, you don't want to put too much dark underneath. It, again, it's going to pull that down. Can you see the difference? Can you see how this eye looks like it's lifted? And I haven't even done the eyebrow yet. I'm going to take just a little bit of, I think I'll use this. Um, mm -hmm. That one called I'll have to pick that up afterwards and I'm just gonna take just a little bit of that 
into here and run it up into that. Now I'm also a fan. Let me see what that color was. I think that was, um, gosh, I wish my eyes were better. That is Baba. And I've seen so many of the other artists using Baba. Okay, so you have to clean that up. I started out with, um, I used um, a highlight on my lid to act as a primer, and then I went over it with the Perfector sponge with some stay spray on it. So that's gonna give me some nice, um, it'll hold it in there. If you've got oilier eyes, I've heard a lot about primer. I'm not having problems with um, oily eyes. For whatever reason, I have oily skin, but because of the skincare that I use, I don't have to worry about that too much. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take a little bit of one of the brighter highlights. This one is white peach, and I'm going to put that up into the peak of that, and I'm gonna blend that out just with my best blend. Okay, I'm only gonna do one eye because I want you to see the difference. Now, I am going to put my eyebrow on. Now, I, I blade my brows, but they do get a little um, patchy at the end. So I'm gonna do a two-step that I've shown you before using the hot line brush, and I'm gonna start out with that little um, tip on the other side, and I'm gonna use, I love this color, Trust. It's the perfect color for my eyebrows. And I'm just going to fill those in with that. And I like to, and I think it's good for us hooded eyes, instead of building more below, if you want to go a little bit thicker, keep it above the eyebrow. Fill in above so it's not pulling not given the illusion of pulling the eye down. Try to create a peak. Okay, so there I've got that. And I'm gonna finish that with, I do a two part. My next step is Astoria. It's kind of like a powder and, um, and wax. And then I'm just gonna go in with that Astoria contour, which is what I used as my contour great for eyebrows as well. You can use this as um, lip liner, you can use it as eyeliner, and then I'm gonna finish off just brushing that all out. So do you see, can you see that? How that eye is lifting. And I'm just gonna finish it off with my mascara. And again, you don't want to put too much mascara on the bottom when you've got a hooded eye because that will tend to pull down on the eye. So every step that you're doing, you're just avoiding making it look like you're pulling down the eye. A little bit there. And I tend to concentrate on the outer lashes to try to pull that up. So there you have it. What do you think? Does it look like this eye is wider open? I hope so. So uh, try out yours. Um, get some great eyeshadows. We've got some. There are a few um, out of stocks, but man, they came through about a week early with all of our highlights. The only highlights that we're missing now are the three very uh, palest shades, but I know that we can color match you with what we've got in right now and get them quick. I was saying to somebody yesterday, 
mascara beauty products are kind of like the new toilet paper because <laughs> as soon as we get them in they go right out we had a little bit of a panic buy when they heard that we were going to be um a uh, little short of stock in October because they've got something really exciting coming up for November and I couldn't be more thrilled. Um, the messages that I keep getting back from people, and this isn't about ego, it, it's not at all. This is about creating confidence for women um, when you can highlight your best features, maybe um, minimize anything that might be bothering you like a hooded eye for me this is such an easy technique 55 years old first time <laughs> that I ever knew that I never could do one of those wings I just thought I didn't know how to do it and I didn't realize that I could use techniques to make it look like I have a bigger eye so hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah be around this weekend and uh, let me know if you've got any questions okay thanks guys Mwah.